welcome to our vlog this week we are here at the midland hotel take it and look around we're actually staying for the night as well because it's anthony's birthday today so we've never stayed here before we are i think we're in a king's room oh are we i think so i have no idea it's all a surprise it's, <laughs> well he knew he was coming <laughs> so we thought we'd kind of take you guys with us we'll have a look around the lobby maybe in the bar and also a room tour as well so Ooh. let's go Love room tour <laughs> So this is a standard room with a king bed. Yeah. Unlike first impression, it's it's very nice. Yeah. Like I love the colour scheme. We're actually at the back of the building and the window overlooks the courtyard. So we'll show you a picture of that in a second. I guess if you wanted a room that was facing the outside of the building, maybe you would maybe just put a request in for that if that was what you wanted. Yeah, there might be different rooms though, because these are standard rooms. So maybe the standard rooms are on the inside and then the, the bigger or the suites are on the outside. I would have thought so. Um, yeah, so or like the, maybe the executives or... Mm. Um, but yeah, so definitely worth mentioning and dropping them an email. I will actually say at this point, the reservation team or the people on reception that I spoke to via email were absolutely excellent. Mm everything that I asked for they were you know they were really really good about it. Should we do this room tour? Yeah we've not had to look at it properly yet so no, we haven't. as we walk around this will be the first time for exactly, us as well. Yeah so. yeah so as you come in as you can see it's kind of like just like standard hotel layout so you've got your bathroom on the left hand side just here which we'll show you in a second and then you kind of come through into the main room. So as you can see lovely comfy looking bed. Quite springy. <laughs> it feels quite high. It looks high. Yeah, I'm a short. I'm quite short, <laughs> so I'll be clambering onto that later. Then we've got bedside table, and then you see this is my absolute favourite thing about staying in a hotel room now. <laughs> I've got very low standards. <laughs> um, you've got USB sockets, and there's two on that side as well. Oh yeah, there is. Um, and you've got plug sockets too. Whoop which is brilliant. This should be standard, yeah. I think, in every single hotel. Nothing worse when you get to a hotel and like there's there's no way to like plug anything in the side yeah. of your bed. Absolutely. So that's a bonus. And then yeah. we've got lights. Oh, mm. that does that one over there. Like you... a, we'll show you in a second, but the okay. dresser. Okay. It's like a dressing area. That's got a light on it, which goes on and off. Same in that one is the bedside table. The ceilings are really high as well. Oh gosh, yeah, they are. That giant, that's, yeah, that's actually a massive lampshade. Yeah. doesn't look that big on the camera, but it's huge. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah. Yeah. I love the little... Um, the design on the design inside. The inside, yeah. Telephone, it is zero for reception. They did tell us that when we checked in. And we've got a lovely comfy chair in the corner here, just for relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Pixar lamp. Everyone uh -huh. loves a Pixar lamp. Um, the little switch here, on and off. So then we've got your dressing table area here with a nice comfy chair. Um, mirror, which is very nice, very nice and clean. <laughs> How are they drawers? How are they drawers? I don't think Oh, there's so. a drawer in the middle. Oh yeah, there is a drawer in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going to struggle for a hairdryer. I haven't brought one. We'll double check though. Quite excited by the, there's a room service. So they do do room service at the moment. So that's the menu. We'll show you that in a second as well. So this is like, I, would, I don't really know. I guess you, this is like your drinks area. So yeah, I think. Because there's some glasses on there. Yeah. So I think the, there's normally something else. There must be normally something else on there, but maybe bottles of water or something. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe it's kind of the place where if you were if you were to order, um, like strawberries and things like yeah. that, you could put them on there. Unless there's normally like a kettle or something on there, and they're just not doing it at the minute. Yeah, maybe. Actually, yeah, that would make sense. That's why there's plug sockets there and stuff. Yeah, but if you open this drawer here, I can have a little sneaky peek. There was a kettle in here. Oh. So um, we've got kettle, teas, Ooh. English. <gasps> Biscuits. I know, that is a bonus. Oh yeah, chocolate chip and vanilla. Uh, oh, chocolate chip and orange. Oh yes, that sounds good. 
Um, so we've got so we've got some selection of sugars. We've got some English breakfast tea, decaf coffee, smooth Kenko coffee, uh, not decaf. Then we've got a pure green tea, an organic peppermint tea, some uh, UHT milks, and two little biscuits there. Two mugs with uh, spoons in, and then the kettle at the back there. So um, and then let's have a fridge. Mini fridge. Anything in it? <gasps> I bet there's not. Oh, wrong side. No. Okay. So we could have brought some. If you wanted to kind of bring something with you guys to have a little drink in the room, you can do that. Yeah. I'm guessing if there is a hairdryer, I'm guessing it'll be in here. Yes, there we go. So we've got an iron, a hairdryer, we've got a laundry bag, um, and then there's a save down in the bottom here as well, which is one of the ones that you put your code, like a code into, yeah. and then your ironing board over here, and then just some space for um, clothes and things <gasps> on the top. You know you're in a fancy hotel when you've got uh, coat hangers that actually come <laughs> off. Obviously over into the TV area, so uh, Samsung TV with a remote. I do love that they do this now, so they have obviously have sanitised everything yeah. and pop, popped a little uh, thing to say that there. And then just a lovely cupboard underneath as well. That's so, for storage. Yeah, just yeah. storage, there's nothing in there. Well, this is our view, which is the courtyard area in mm -hmm. the centre of the hotel. Yeah. And um, so yeah, not really much of a view. You can see the sky though. We nice day. <laughs> to have a nice blue sky here in Manchester today so yeah um but the weather's gonna be nice all week I think which is great yeah it's about and time those um those skylights underneath are the ones which are above the champagne bar yeah and um, which is in the reception area yeah you'll have seen it as we came in so if you're like me and you like a nice cool room there is an air conditioning unit <laughs> I haven't quite figured out how to work it out but I think basically there's arrows as a fan um, so I'm guessing the strength of the of how much kind of air you want in the room and then um, the temperature. So it's on for us, it's on full and it's on the like very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Fast and cold. Um, but it was quite warm to be fair when we came in this yeah. room but it definitely has cooled it down a little bit now so it is working. Yeah. So that's but good. The vent, the vent is just above the doorway yes. there. Up there and there's one just here as well. Oh is one there as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the bathroom. So it's actually really spacious i would say um you've got a nice heated towel rail one two three towels of all different sizes one big one and then kind of two smaller ones um toilet you've got um a dry hair day what's that dry shampoo dry shampoo that's that's uh, that's good a soap and then we've got some um i love hotel uh what do you call them hotel toiletries yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got a shampoo, we've got a body lotion, and we have a body wash as well. Tissues over there in the corner. We've got some antibacterial wipes, which is great. Two glasses, sink area. Um, we've got a socket for shavers, and nice big lovely mirror as well. A uh, bin, and then a shower and a bath. <laughs> I would never have known that opened up. Did you not? No, I, I totally would have just tried to squeeze in at the side. <laughs> yeah, so this kind of opens out. Um, it is quite, it is quite a short bath, yeah. which isn't a problem for me, being quite short. But obviously, if you if you are on the taller side, I still think you probably wouldn't have much of a. Oh, I don't know. You wouldn't be able to lie down. Yeah, I know some people that wouldn't be able to sit in that because yeah. it's so tall. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of our friends actually. Yeah. Um, and then obviously shower, bath, um, shower head that you can pull off. Um, that's we, we like that, don't we, in a, yeah. in a hotel room. Um, and then a handrail as well, which is always really helpful. <laughs> it's just, I'm always really scared when I stay in a hotel of slipping. Yeah. Um, because obviously it is it is like tiled floor and things like that. So yeah, so we'll talk about the, we'll, um, we'll let you know about the, t the obviously not gonna have a shower now, but um, we'll talk about the, pressure of the shower and everything once we've used that tomorrow maybe yeah um but yeah really nice so this is the room service menu at the moment zoom in a little bit more so you can see so the service charge is added on anyway so it's a 12.5 percent service charge on top it's all in the little blurb there at the bottom um and actually when i phoned he said, um, how do you want to pay? So I'm assuming maybe they'll bring a card machine with them or maybe they'll just put it on the bill, but we'll let you guys know. So here's our room service. Those potatoes look awesome. I know. And the bread looks really nice too. I don't quite know what's happened with this because 
the sandwiches were supposed to be nine pounds each so maybe they've given us a bit of a discount uh, but it actually came to fourteen pound with service charge on top. Yeah, because the sandwiches were nine pounds each, and this was four pounds. Yeah, yeah. So it should have been around twenty three, twenty four pounds. Um, but that's charges, okay. Yeah, this charge was like just under fifteen quid. So yeah, we we're like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I quite like the fact that you can just pay for it though, because it just means that you know, you've got no surprises on checkout. Yeah, true. So that's really good. Oh, this looks so good. I'm dead excited. Um, I think you can order drinks too. Oh yeah, um, you will be able We to. completely forgot to order drinks, so I've just nipped out to Starbucks. There is a Starbucks literally across the road, so um, if you, <laughs> here we are <laughs> with my Starbucks. So yeah, so if you if you do forget to get drinks and you want to nip out, obviously there's a bar downstairs. You could get drinks from there if you want to, or give them a ring back, or there's a Starbucks across the road. So should we get stuck in? Yes. Good morning. Morning. So I feel refreshed. Do you? I really do feel really refreshed. That bed is so so comfortable. It is actually. And the pillows. I think I honestly think it's the best bed I've ever slept in. Oh gosh. I really do. The pillows were just the right firmness for me. The mattress was so comfortable, but it wasn't like too soft. <laughs> it's yeah. like Goldilocks. It wasn't too <laughs> soft, but it wasn't it wasn't too hard. It was just right. Like honestly, like I yeah. really And I'm always really funny with pillows, like especially if they're like dead thin and dead like wafy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't handle it. It's like when it's when it's like there's no point of this pillow. Yeah. I might as well sleep on the mattress. But these these are these are good. Pillows. They're really good and they don't lose the firmness. They just they're just really kind of good just to kind of snuggle into. But mm. they hold you in place. I know that sounds daft. So I had a really good night's sleep. I could have honestly stayed in bed much longer, but yeah, we have the, to go to breakfast. But the, the <laughs> curtains are also like proper blackout curtains. So when you turn everything off, it's like you can't see anything. No, so. and it yeah yeah it's really bright as you can see now this morning. So the shower was brilliant. I felt like the pressure was really really quite strong on it actually mm -hmm. i think for a hotel so big i was quite surprised at the water pressure i thought i was yeah, quite yeah. impressed by that my only thing would be you said yesterday because you had one yesterday um there's no uh rubber lining on the, you know so we showed you yesterday the um the shower the shower door open so you can climb in and um, there's no rubber seal on the bottom of it so when it oh, comes yeah. back actually i would but I, because you'd mentioned it i was really careful mm -hmm. but um yeah, so you potentially, if you're not careful, you couldn't with water all over the floor. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I learned from Anthony's mistake. <laughs> I'm really happy. Like, I feel like I'm, I feel good. I feel like it's nice, big, spacious bathroom, loads of room to kind of, you know, to, to uh, get yourself ready and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. When we got back last night, uh, we didn't mention it before we went out, but um, we went out last night for dinner. Um, the air conditioning was showing a fault. So we mentioned it at reception, they were really great, they made a note of it. When we came back, we asked them whether it had been fixed and they said yes it had. That it, she said, she actually, her actual words were, it's been reset. So I said great, so we came up to the room and the fault was still on there. Hmm. So it obviously reset and then tripped off again. So I phoned back downstairs and the thing is, it is very, very warm this week. Yeah. And the room, it is quite warm. I do like a cool room, I'll be honest, so maybe you guys might be fine with it. So we rang down, she sent somebody up, I did ask for a fan, so we do have... So we we have got a fan here and actually that saved us a little bit because oh, yeah. even though they came up and they showed us how to reset it, um, it still tripped off. Yeah, it kept doing it. They said they said it was because we'd we had it on too strong, like the, the strength of the, the Yeah. The fan was too strong and that sort of tripped out. So we turned it down. And it still but did it. Still it. Tripped out, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But the thing is they were really great. They brought us up a fan. We haven't got, you know, um that you know, that's that's fine for me. I mean I actually sleep with a fan at home anyway. Yeah, yeah. So for me that was kind of better. But um just so you guys know really I think like, it would have been fine, but because yesterday was such a particularly hot day. Yeah, yeah. And like the the sun There's, the sun does beam in through the, our room, the position it's in, so it was yeah. it was really hot when we got back. It was, and it is very warm now. Mm. We've just turned the fan off for the first time since last night and it is you can feel it yeah, getting yeah. quite warm. So we're just heading down to uh, to breakfast now so as you as you walk in through the main entrance and reception is on your right hand side the restaurant for breakfast is just before you get to reception on the right hand side yeah. so but we'll show you when we go down now so um yeah so shall we go mm -hmm. so we're just down in the lobby and as i said before breakfast is in this room here and this is the main entrance just here so we're just gonna go in now. Okay, so we sat down, sat down nice and quick. You just have to just check in and let me know what your room number is at the door as you come in. I think things are probably running a little bit differently than they normally would, but um, over on this side, we'll show you in a second that it's like a continental breakfast bar. Everything's kind of sealed, all the bread sealed in its own individual bags, and there's a toaster machine and some drinks um, as well. And then also, kind of down on the other side, um, is some hot food, and that's all self service. So we're just gonna go down and just, uh, just get some food now. Thank you so 
much. Thank you. Thank you. Here's Anthony at the Continental. <laughs> so here's Anthony at the Continental. Ooh. So you get vegetables and cheese. These cheese slices. So we've got individual, individual fruit and yogurt pots. Thank you. These are popular, don't know what this was. Very popular. Oh, individual juices. Milk. This is where all the cereal is. Okay, so don't don't judge, but this is my plate. However, it's not all mine. <laughs> I'm having the egg. And maybe a hash brown. Maybe a hash brown. <laughs> oh, mushrooms as well. Oh, I'm going to have some more. Yeah, there you go, you see. We just got it all on one plate, but everybody was really judging me as they were going past. I could see, could <laughs> see me, it. I was like... <laughs> it was your fault. Oh, yeah. Everyone look. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed coming and have a look around the Midland Hotel with us. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go in the bar last night like we wanted to, so yeah, yeah we couldn't show you guys the bar because it closed by the time we got back, and we didn't get a chance to use the spa either. We didn't really know that there was a spa slash swimming pool slash gym. Yeah, we should have um, checked it out though. We should have. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, make sure you bring your stuff. Yeah, you. absolutely. Bring yeah, bring swimming trunks and stuff. They did say I did I did. Um, uh, I think I overheard somebody maybe saying that you um, need to make sure that you. Oh, did we read it? Yeah, the little pamphlet that you get when you check in, it says to make, you can encourage you to get changed in your room, but yeah. if you want a robe, you can ring down and they can bring a couple of robes up for you. Yeah, and I think you have to book ahead as well. Yeah. I think you have to sort of book a slot to go. I would absolutely come and stay here again. Yeah. Its location is absolutely perfect. We didn't actually uh, take you outside with us, but as you come out the front of the hotel, if you turn to your right hand side, you've got St. Peter's Square, Central Library, and there's a Metrolink stop there too. So if you're coming in from any of the main train stations, so Piccadilly or Victoria, you can hop on a tram um, and come to St. Peter's Square and literally you'll see the hotel as you get off the tram. There's a pharmacy just across the road to the right as well. Mm -hmm. There's some um there's a pizza place and there's loads of restaurants to the left you've got um there's loads of bars down that road there and um, you've got there's a, a sainsbury's and a tesco's about a five minute ten minute walk down the road and um, the opera house and the palace and the palace is down to the right and the opera house is down to the left so it's kind of like the perfect location to kind of stay in really yeah. so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed our midland hotel room tour and uh, vlog and we will see you next week thanks bye now. Bye. Bye.